welcome back to our channel. Make sure before we get started with our video, hit the subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. first time I take a shower slash bath, although I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna fully submerse this in the bath um, while accessed. So I have these hydro seals that the nurse gave me. Um, it's a seven by seven, but apparently they also come in a five by five. So I may try for the five by five because I don't know how exactly this is gonna work with the curvature of my chest where my port is. Um, but we will find out. Hopefully it won't require a total new dressing change when I'm done. So I'll see you then. Well, that didn't work at all. It crinkled up because of where the curves were and then water got underneath it and we thought that it didn't get underneath the bandage but I felt like it felt wet and then when I pulled on the bandage it wasn't stuck to me anymore right in here and then it looks like I'm a little bit allergic to the hydro seal so I think we'll be doing I don't know hair washing and the blow up sink again maybe and bathing with wipes until I deaccess unless I can get the five by five and have better luck with it sticking to me. So, you know, maybe if I'm only a little bit allergic to it, we'll see how, how it does in the next few minutes. I can tolerate it for just the shower because yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to not be able to appropriately bathe. So we're gonna deaccess completely because I'm not doing any fluids probably until Monday and I still have rash left over from the previous dressing so we're just gonna let that air out and completely deaccess. So it is Friday afternoon and I just got my weekly infusion um, box and the only thing extra that I asked for this time were some extra large sterile gloves because the mediums that come in the kit are super small for Steven's hand. But I didn't specify anything else because I wanted to see what they automatically would send um, just to get an idea of what comes weekly. So I got an actual I got an actual packing list this time, so that would have been helpful with the first box, but um, now I know, you know, what the codes for everything are, so when I need to reorder. So they automatically sent me six tubing packs, even though, well, I don't really understand the logic behind why I get extras of certain things and why I don't for others other than maybe cost. So I really only needed three of these per, you know, each bag of saline, but I have six. So, I mean, it's always nice to have extras, but then I don't have extra sterile saline. Um, so, well, technically I guess that's one extra sterile saline. I only got one Huber needle, which is over there, but I got a ton. No. Steven making a smoothie. Then I have a ton of extra saline, non-sterile saline, 
<laughs> now it's kind of like, how many of these equals a liter? <laughs> like, I could just, you know, shoot saline syringes <laughs> instead of... <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. All right, then the yellow caps are heparin, which I had some leftover of that, but um, always good to have. And then one sterile dressing kit, one bio patch, one ultracite, a bunch of green caps. You change those daily each time you do your flushes. Um, one Huber needle and a box of alcohol swabs. So this was all stuff that came automatically next time I can tell them what I need or don't need or what extras of, but I just wanted to see. Hey, if I don't say anything other than those extra large sterile gloves, what is automatically sent? So it's good to know. How's that smoothie, Steven? <laughs> is that like a gallon or a liter of What's the what's the flavor of the day? Uh, this is banana, watermelon, blueberry. Mmm. Can I have some? Sweet. Aww, how romantic is that? Oh, he's so sweet. No sherbet, mine. Mmm. Good stuff. I'm not a fan of the chocolate chips, though. They're a choking hazard. <laughs> well, my first bar is chocolate chips. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go take a nap. Okay, so we tried a new recipe tonight. I made, with the help of Steven, stuffed green pepper, wait, what is it? Philly cheesesteak, essentially, stuffed in a pepper without bread, because I can't have the gluten. And when we got it on our plates, Steven and I were like, hmm, how should we eat this? And I'm gonna show you our plates and just let you know ahead of time that this is like a metaphor for our lives. <laughs> All right, there's mine. You know, I just like, I just went into it. I just, I just went in and got all the good stuff and I would scrape it on my fork and all the good stuff in one bite. <laughs> There's Steven. Nicely picking out a piece at a time, kind of spiral cutting it off. <laughs> Scraping it up on his fork. Who's the cleaner person in the house? Yeah. But so And Sarah, wait, tell us how you eat your stuffed pepper. So actually I don't actually eat the stuffed pepper. Let's get all the attention to the Mexican stuff. There is nothing Mexican on your plate. That would be soy sauce and rice. So we're going Which to might get be slightly our Asian. Chopped, our chopsticks, which we call our little manicure. Our little well, pleasers. I think we're technically in medical terms, they're called miniature forceps. Okay, so let's get started. Show you guys how I eat. So let's take these mini chopsticks. Take a piece of rice. We're gonna be here all day. 